and welcome to Storytime with Book Bears. My name is Natalie and today I will be reading Buster the Very Shy Dog by Lizzie Betchtold. Buster's First Party When Buster first came to Roger's house, he was small and shy. Phoebe, Roger's other dog, was not shy. She was bossy. The cats were bossy too. When Buster grew up, he was big and shy, but he still felt small. When someone came to visit, Buster would run and hide. Most people met Buster by accident. One day, a lot of people came to visit. It was hard for Buster to find a place to hide. A party, barked Phoebe. Roger's birthday party. What is a party, wondered Buster. He watched as Phoebe made new friends and helped herself to ice cream and cake. I wish I could have some ice cream and cake too, thought Buster. But someone might see me. When everyone went outside to watch Phoebe do her fancy tricks, Buster crept out from behind the couch. He looked at the ice cream and cake. He smelled the ice cream and cake. He almost tasted the ice cream and cake. But then someone shouted, Hey, look, another dog. Can he do tricks too? Buster ran and hid again until a little girl saw him. Here, doggy, doggy, she yelled. Soon, a long line of kids was following Buster around and around the house. Here, doggy, doggy, called the little girl. Here, doggy, doggy, called the other kids. Buster slipped under the black porch. I don't think I like parties, he sighed, except for the ice cream and cake. After a while, Buster heard a sniffle, then a little sob. He peeked out. When a little girl looked down at him, Buster backed far away. Now she will say, here, doggy, doggy, he thought. But the girl did not say anything. She just sat and cried. Buster watched her for a long time. He wanted her to feel better, but he didn't know what to do. Then Buster did something very brave. After a while, the girl talked to him. I don't know anyone at this party. No one played with me. Then that other dog ate my ice cream and cake. Buster knew just how she felt. You're a nice dog, she said, much nicer than that other one. Wait here. She ran into the house. When she came back, the little girl said, let's have ice cream and cake. Buster and Phoebe. Buster thought Phoebe was an amazing dog. Phoebe was brave. She was good at finding things and most of all, she was an ace ball catcher. She couldn't catch any ball, no matter how far or how high Roger threw it. Good dog, Phoebe, Roger always said. Ever since Buster was a puppy, he tried to be just like Phoebe, but it was hard. Buster was shy. He was not good at finding things. Most of all, he was not an ace ball catcher. He could not catch any ball, no matter how close or how slow Roger threw it. It's okay, Roger told him. You are good at other things. I am, thought Buster. Like what? But Roger did not say. Every dog should be able to catch, Phoebe told Buster. You just have to keep your eye on the ball. Buster tried keeping his eye on the ball. It did not help. Phoebe is good at everything, he thought. I'm not good at anything. I have an idea, said Phoebe. Follow me. 
she picked up her ball and ran to Roger's room. Maybe you need glasses, she said, like Roger. But glasses did not help. The hamster cage crashed to the floor. Roger woke up. Oh no, he cried. Where's Maxie? Roger looked all around the room for Maxie the hamster. Phoebe sniffed all around the room for Maxie. Buster slunk towards the door. I'm not good at finding things, he thought. Phoebe gave up sniffing. Roger flopped down on the bed. I've had Maxie ever since the fourth grade, he said. What if she's lost forever? Buster rested his chin on Roger's arm. Roger sighed deeply. Buster sighed too. Buster, said Roger, you always listen to my troubles. You are the best listener in this house. I am, thought Buster. He wagged his tail. Then he had an idea. Buster listened all around the room. He listened and listened and listened. At last, he heard a tiny munching sound coming from the dresser. He gently poked his nose in an open drawer. There was Maxie the hamster. Good job, Buster, cried Roger. You are amazing.